your sort of how, how to put this the, the, the very sort of nuanced holistic encompassing perspective that you personally hold which i'm always struck by whenever you know i've had a, uh, an opportunity to have a conversation with you i i can't help but feel like i really believe this and I, i've said this uh, 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 i think the last you know, two podcasts ago i actually said so, so very something similar some along these lines which is to say that uh the divine feminine as well in some of the words that comes through the feminine as such i mean not feminine as such but you see what i'm saying is so important here i think you know the the as a mother I and mean, your mother and your very feminine and, and you, you you encapsulate you embrace a perspective a way of being which is very palpable to me that is so necessary today more so than ever before as far as we know historically um and and you know the 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 which is very much a, a <clears throat> an embodied reality of um you know commensality and 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 and, and compassion and caring and not sort of separation which is all too often the archetypally masculine attitudes so i wonder if you i mean in relation to healing and being and embodying if you could speak a little bit to the role of the feminine in all of this yeah in that type of sense yeah um put simply to to understand that the feminine is receiving the masculine and the masculine has been uh, in my opinion anyway culturally jaded like we don't talk about the masculine in its true essence um we have people who say let's smash the patriarchy and when i hear that which is basically like for me hearing them say i haven't reconciled the internal masculine within me <laughs> and so i want to smash it outside because i haven't reconciled within that here such again that i mean second time today uh, i just got the chills in a major way where that's profound 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 yeah and it's not a popular opinion frankly of course not <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah that yeah. is right when i thought you were like a good person what are you doing here you said don't oh. smash the patriarchy what the hell is wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> Go away. I mean, so, you know, nothing is like just one thing, you know. The patriarchy has more than one perspective, more more than one side. Just like the feminine does. Um, but the feminine is a very powerful way of receiving the masculine. So that way the masculine can lead. That the masculine can uh, encompass this more warrior type spirit of action. Um it doesn't mean the feminine doesn't take action but it's more it feels to me it's more of a a devotion to uh a creative process and I don't know you know it's to me the feminine uh exploration is ongoing in my life you know I'm forever experiencing it but it's really about a sense of feeling more of my experience mm. and breathing in my body. Uh when I coach or work with a man and I say like anything about his body, he you know, some men who are in touch with their feminine, they'll be able to say I feel this in my body. But a man who's devoid of his feminine in the moment, he'll say I don't know what you're talking about. I feel nothing in my body. And so there's a powerful idea of that the feminine is for all of us <laughs> when we just to circle that back around to how we can really connect more deeply with our our bodies uh, absolutely i mean that's also my understanding of things very much so that we are each and every one of us regardless of our sort of biological uh you know whatever expression we have in that sense gender wise um we all have within us the masculine and the feminine and 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 our task right is to somehow marry the two and and to give expression to that which is you know some men <clears throat> excuse me are more you know uh, sometimes they are very in touch with their feminine side so it means you know they may be of artistic temperament like me I've, you know historically been very artistic so as I mentioned this in the podcast two podcasts ago actually that it took me a lot of work to actually reconnect or even rediscover for the first time my masculine core and and it, again it's an ongoing process and it's very uh liberating as it were to 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 kind of own it and and to know that you know I'm I'm meant to lead I'm meant to 
kind of not to contradict myself now from what I was saying earlier, but I, I meant to meant to make shit happen as well. Like mm-hmm. that, that's kind of the archetypal sense, as you're saying, uh, part of the role of the masculine and and the feminine side of of my being sees pictures like the ones we saw earlier with the children, and it breaks my heart. And and it's I want to go out there and. So I don't want to cut you off, but I just want to say this. So the feminine part of you is more of an inviting. So it's like when you see things that break your heart, there's an invitation. Like I would like to be a service here. Guide me, how God? You know, like how how do I? So we're inviting it to come. Whereas the masculine is, I got to go make shit happen. Beautiful. And so you, it's that. that's very beautiful. Yeah. That's beautiful. I and mean, yeah, you did mention that earlier about the nature of the feminine. So, ooh, powerful stuff. <laughs>